A lot of letters from you at home. And we read them all pretty much, especially the ones written in ink. And we wanted to read this one because it's such a special request. It's from a Mrs. Kathy Hodling who writes, Dear Kevin and Dan, Recently, I have had a great difficulty falling asleep. They call it insomnia. I've tried everything. Watching the Home Shopping Club, Night Watch with Charlie Rose. I even rented a videotape of waves crashing against the shore. But nothing seems to help me to sleep. Isn't there something not worth watching that would put me out like a light? Love and kisses, Mrs. Hodling. Aw, well, Mrs. Hodling, Kevin and I have each chosen a program that we think may help put you into a deep sleep, if not an irreversible coma. The most boring show in my book is the rural sports program, The Fishing Pole, which features two grown men in a small boat using colorful lures and bad grammar. I'm wishing just wishing I was fishing with my fishing pole. Hey, it's the fishing pole. Hi, I'm Jimmy McKinney. And you know, when I think of real good fishing, I think of Blue Lake, Colorado. But there's some mighty fine fishing in the heart of the big city, too. Today, I'm in a park in Pittsburgh fishing for carp, closed mouth bass. I'll be catching plenty of them with my fishing buddy and a great guy, Jethro Bodine. <laughs> oh, oh no. His name ain't really Jethro, it's Tom. With a last name like Bodine, you just gotta call him Jethro. <laughs> oh! You know, I'm sitting here enjoying the sounds of the cars going by, staring at some ducks, and whammo, there's something on the line. Well, you just can't explain these fish, Jimmy. Oh. This is another good fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> he wanted to be caught. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good, nice fish. That's a real good, nice fish. Oh, I got a strike. Oh, hello. Ooh. This is another good fish. That's a real nice, good fish. That's a fresh fish. That's a good, nice, real, fresh fish. That's a real, nice, good, fresh, great, good, nice fish. <laughs> now that's boring. I mean, I even like fishing, and it's still boring. Nice choice, Dan. But, Kathy, if the fishing pole doesn't send you the land of Nod, may I suggest the repetition of pseudo-spiritual parables of the Maharaji Kali Baraba, Let's look at his program, Maharaji Now. There was a man who was a great teacher of children, and he was greatly loved by those who had a great love for him. But one day, his school burned to the ground like a flaming school. And the man said, until a new school is built, I will not sleep, I will not rest. No food shall pass my lips except at mealtime. And a leader of the man came to him and said, there was a man who was a soothsayer, which is a sayer of sooths. But he was small and weak, and a strong man tried to scare him by breaking a huge rock in half like it was a stone. And the soothsayer turned to him and said, there was a man who lived on a mountain with a goat that he called his mountain goat. And each day, he let this goat graze on green grazing grass that was green. And one day, an angry farmer came to him and said, there was a man who lived in a house in Calcutta and slept on the floor like it was the ground. 